almost a week ago, on April 19th this year, the fourth Bitcoin halving took place. As most know, the halving is an event that takes place once every four years with the purpose of reducing the Bitcoin block reward by 50%. Effectively, this means that from April 19th, we no longer mined 6.25 Bitcoin per block, but instead only received 3.125 Bitcoin per block. So why have we not seen a significant decrease in mining revenue? To understand this better, we first need to understand the two key components that exist within a Bitcoin block. The first component is the block subsidy, the default amount of Bitcoin that is predetermined and only adjusts once every four years at the halving, currently 3.125 Bitcoin. The second component is the sum of transaction fees. Whenever you want to make a transaction on the Bitcoin network, you will pay a small amount of fees to ensure that your transaction is being included in the blocks that are being mined. This transaction fee is then paid out to the miner or pool who mined the block. And this is where things get interesting. Over the past few years, the transaction fees would generally make up roughly 1% to 10% of the block reward. And so the expectation was that after the halving, this percentage would increase to roughly 2% to 20% of the block, averaging out at approximately 10%. Now the question is, why is it different this time? Precisely at block 840,000, the exact block at which the halving took place, a new protocol was released on the Bitcoin network, the Runes protocol. The Runes protocol is a new way of adding fungible tokens on the Bitcoin network without congesting the network as much as the former BRC20 protocol did. As with anything new and hype, thousands of Bitcoin and crypto enthusiasts couldn't wait to get their hands on the freshly etched collections and were willing to spend millions of dollars to be among the first to own one of these tokens or etch their collections themselves and hopefully make a profit selling them for more. This resulted in a Bitcoin block containing a whopping 37.6 Bitcoin worth of transaction fees. And it doesn't stop there. Over the last five days, the average Bitcoin block consisted of roughly 40% transaction fees, significantly higher than anyone could anticipate. The real question is, will the hype around the Runes protocol last? Although it is hard to predict what the future will bring, especially in the world of Bitcoin, we do see that there is still a lot of highly anticipated Runes to be released. With that information in mind, it is likely that we'll continue seeing heightened transaction fees for the coming two to three weeks. In the long term, it is expected that runes continue having an important role, as more projects will start building on the Bitcoin network while making use of the runes protocol. Whether that means that the transaction fees will remain as high as they currently are is tough to answer. It is important that any miner anticipates for the worst, in this case lower transaction fees, to make sure that their mining operations will continue being profitable. If you're currently mining with Compass and looking to upgrade your existing miners to more efficient hardware, now might be the right time to look into new opportunities. Are you looking to get into mining Bitcoin? Reach out to me or one of my colleagues to discuss what options are available for you.